Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a personal access token. And I'm also going to show you how to use that personal access token that you have created to clone a repository in your terminal. So before I go into how to create a personal access token, let me quickly say a few things about what a personal access token is and the type of personal access tokens that we have. So a personal access token is an alternative to using passwords for authentication on GitHub when you are using the GitHub API, that's the application programming interface, or you are using the command line, that's your terminal. So what this means is that if you don't want to use your password as a means of authentication, you can create a personal access token and you can use that token to authenticate or you can use that personal access token for authentication. Now, there are two types of personal access tokens that are supported by GitHub. And these personal access tokens are the fine-grained personal access token and the classic personal access token. Now, generally, these two personal access tokens, they, they do the same thing. That is, they are used for authentication, right? But that is where the similarity between them stops. There are a couple of differences between them. But the only two differences I'm going to talk on is their appearance, how they look, and on the issue of security. So let me show you what a classic personal access token looks like and how a fine grained personal access token looks like. So if you look at this, this is a fine grained personal access token, and this is a classic personal access token. So you can see they are different in appearance, they don't look the same. So once you see a string of characters that looks like this that has this github parts and all this you know that this is a fine grained personal access token and once you see something like this you, you should know that this is a classic personal access token so the next difference is on the issue of security so a fine grained personal access token is more secure than a classic personal access token the reason is this a classic personal access token give access to all the repositories present in your account but a fine-grained personal access token only give access to only public repositories present in your account. If you are having private repositories, you will not be able to use that token to authenticate in those repositories except you allow it. So what that means is that if somebody get a hold of your fine-grained personal access token, they can only have access to your public repositories, but your private repositories are safe. So with that being said, let us now see how we can create personal access tokens. So to create personal access tokens, open your GitHub account, then click on this icon on the upper right corner of your screen. So you get a drop down menu. So scroll down and click on settings. So once it opens, scroll down, then look at the bottom left corner of your screen. Click on developer settings. So once you click on it, you take it to another page now indeed you can see these three options github apps OAuth apps and personal access token so this is what you need so once you click on it it will give you two options so you can see fine grained or better and classic so for simplicity sake i'm going to be creating and using a classic personal access token so one thing if you are git if you are a, an elx student is i advise you to always use a classic personal access token to save you stress just classic is the best for is the best for you so i'll click on classic so okay so to generate a new one you click on generate new token so once you click on it so select classic this is fine green so select the second one the second one is classic so click on it so this note is is just like a description of what the token is for. So let me just use one of these ones. Let me say testing one, two, three, four, five. So now this next option is expiration. So you can set the time you want the token to expire. So you can either set it to seven days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or custom, for example. If you want it to expire, and let me say tomorrow, two days, one day, you select custom. So once you select custom, you input the date you want the token to expire. Or you can say, no expiration i always use this one because i don't like creating token many 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 times so once i just create the token i'll set it to no expiration so that it doesn't expire 
so i will set this one to no expiration then you scroll down so you need to select some scopes so if you are a beginner you don't need to select much all these things you don't really need most of all these things you only need just three things so what you need there is ripple then scroll down so this ripple if once you select this option it allows you to access the, your repository the repositories present in your github account so once you scroll down select the delete repo option so this delete repo option it allows you to delete the repositories present on your account then there's also another one then this one this admin repo hook. so this one gives you full control of repository hooks so after selecting these three options just scroll down scroll down then click on generate token so it's going to generate the token so you can see the token has been generated so what you just do is this. you copy it click on this icon copy it and, see, and save it in a secure place what i always do is this once i've created it like this i will go and save it in my email draft box so i can always have access to it anytime any any day so it's, it's a very good practice to save your token in your in your draft box so now now that we have created this token now let me now show you how you can use this token to clone repositories on your terminal so let me go to my terminal okay so sign me let me sign in then i'll show you how you can use it to clone repositories on your terminal so cloning means like creating a copy of your of a, of a repository that is present on your github account on the command line like you're, it's like you are creating you are making a copy so in order for you to clone a repository, you use the git, git clone command followed by your token, followed by the URL of the repository that you want to clone. So this, this is what you just do. You just say git clone, then https column slash slash. Then you, you put your token. The token I've just created, I'm going to paste it. So I'll paste it, right? Then I'll say at github dot com then followed by slash my username is code hyphen xx93 slash the name of the repository i want to clone so the repository i want to clone the name is test so t-e-s-t -E then followed by dot git now press enter so you can see that already cloned it so he's saying warning you are you appear to have cloned an empty repository that is because the repository i cloned was empty so if i press it ls and i press enter you see the repository in the list of my files so we can see it here test so it has been successfully cloned so what i will do is this i will cd into this test repository so i'll say cd test i will go into it then i'll create a readme file then i'll then i'll push it to my github so let me create a readme file so I will say echo then this is my first readme append in readme.md so what this means is that this is telling my machine to put append this text in this file readme.md so if I hit enter and I press ls you can see the readme file has been created so if i cut it cut readme dot md to see the content okay okay this spell is readme i typed okay let me say cut okay then let me put this and let me paste it you can see you can see my text this is my first reading so let me try and push this to github so let me git add dot. i think actually actually i'm supposed to update my credentials but i won't do that let, let us try and see if we can push it without doing that okay so let me commit git commit minus n let me see read me Okay, that's committed. Then let me git push.
so you can see it has successfully pushed to github so let's go and check my github account and let's see if the to if the the file is present so let me click here then let me go to repositories so tests so let me click on tests this is the repository so you can see the file is present so if i click on it you see the text i put inside it so you can see this is my first repo so you can see that the 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 file i created on the command line has been successfully pushed to my github account